Hey guys, Tarek from Airface here and uh, welcome to this off the cuff video. So my MacBook's in the shop, I accidentally broke the screen. So before I start making videos that require any sort of serious editing, I thought I'd make one off the cuff. And this one is about flight bags. What's inside an airline pilot's flight bag? And since I want to tidy mine, it's a little bit messy. I thought I'd take this stuff out, show you what's inside it so you can see what I take with me to work. Okay, so I thought I'd start with the front pocket. Um, so let's start with this. These are my sunglasses. These are the very first sunglasses I ever bought for flying. And I've had these for about 13 years now. I started flying in 2007 and I bought them then. And so these are sunglasses I've always used to go flying. Never changed that. We got some, uh, some uh, ear inside earbuds. I did order some uh, over the head ones because I don't like these in terms of the environment. Uh, but they haven't arrived yet. These are my spare glasses because I wear glasses and, and contact lenses. So I need spare glasses as part of my um, med medication, a certification, medical certificate. These are spare face masks. I use reusable ones, but just in case I break them or whatever. USB 3 charger, that shouldn't even be here. One of my hand sanitizers, I take several with me. Panadol, so that's basically uh, paracetamol with caffeine. And of course, I'm a first officer, paperwork is my responsibility, so I have a um, stapler. And that is all in the front pocket. So I'll put these back in and organize it. Okay, uh, this side pocket normally has soup in it. So like, you know, like, like instant noodles or something, but it's empty now. This one is a little bit messy. It's one of the ones I wanted to sort out. So you got an emergency uh, a blanket. Um, this is from my GA days. Got a bag of tea. Always need some tea when you're flying in the UK. And see this, for example, this should be on the other side. This is a... Wow, onion soup. Sounds fantastic. He says sarcastically. Spare, spare contact lenses, right? And, and the reason for these, right, is... Here's a scenario. I'm wearing contact lenses. I've got my one pair of spare spectacles. We're on the outbound leg, and then my my contact lenses fall out. No worries. I pull out my my glasses. We land the aircraft safely, but then I'm not legal to fly back. So I got these so I can put them on for the return leg if ever that were to happen. Got a couple of permanent markers, and I've got my little book with my license. I got my passports in here. I uh, got here is my medical and I got some emergency cash and a spare Revolut card. So just a normal Revolut uh, debit card. Um, yeah, and I've got some of my old medicals as well and my license right here. So I put these on here and then if I go to work and I forget my wallet, I always have something. Let's see, I think there's more somewhere around here. Oh yeah, in this pocket, uh, more contact lenses and some more drugs. Not illegal stuff, don't worry. Panadol, some more Panadol. So this is the sort of stuff I want to organize. Right, move on to the next one. Okay, it's time for the big guns. The big pocket, let's see. Start with this, this is my Bose headset. I've had it for a few years now, bought it when I started flight instructing. I was on these Arnold Clark headsets, which are really good, but it were, they weren't uh, active noise canceling. And then when you're flying GA all day, um, it does get a little tiresome. So you can see these are well worn out. Uh, so at some point, probably try and replace these at least. And I use rechargeable batteries. So I've got one, some in there and I've got some in here. So they don't last as long as the normal AA batteries, but you know, even with the normal AA batteries, you'll go through about four, uh, four pairs or so in a month. So I thought these at least, um, it's better for the environment. I had these before the pandemic, but now they're as important as ever because they don't always give you these. Cleansing surface wipes. Uh, before I start um, doing anything in the aircraft, I clean all the surfaces and stuff I plan on using and touching, like my like my tray table, the armrests, the stick, etc. Because it's uh, it's not cleaned at all by staff. There's no there's no staff cleaning, so. Like there's no professional cleaning services, so it's all down to the pilots. In here, I've got a spare hand wipe, wet wipe from O'Leary's, one of the places, one of these yummy Irish unhealthy bars. Hive's jacket is a must because we're working in an airport environment. 
Oh, my belt. <laughs> That's when I when I commuted back home. Just a belt I normally wear. It doesn't go in here. This is Amelito. My wife gave him to me. He's now my second officer. He sits behind my uh, my uh, tablet in the aircraft, and he just uh, watches over us. He's monitoring our actions, making sure we don't do anything bad. Um, let's see. We've got this. So they'll give you sometimes instant noodles in the aircraft, uh, and... They taste okay, but this makes them taste a lot better. In fact, anything you think tastes a bit bland, chuck this in and it tastes really good. This is my notebook, so I will put a bit of everything in here. So I got some Airbus notes, um, and in the back I'll have some some programming stuff. Uh, and so yeah, it's just it's just a notebook to 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 have handy in case I need to write stuff. Here's my work tie. I'll move that out of the way. Uh, a lot of stuff here that don't usually stay in here. For example um portable charging bank um i actually that does stay in there i just can't use it in flight because that's not allowed so it's just in case we get stuck somewhere uh oh well, that's gross that's a used uh used ear thing time to chuck that out and that's why i want to buy one some uh, over the head ones which is better for the environment lots of pens which is why i need to clean this out uh my torch so it's rechargeable batteries i need to recharge the battery there we've got uh, so spare cables to charge my phone and my Apple Watch. Second pair of um, of hand sanitizer, very important. And then I got some random coins and stuff inside of here. And this is just a random folder to uh, basically like for expense reports, uh, just shove it in here. So obviously I'm keeping it face down so you can't see any details. But that's, that's, I think that's it really. Let's see. Oh, there's the my airlines tag so let's not show that on screen um yeah that's it so now i'm going to put these all back in nice and tidy because it's time to tidy my bag all right guys i hope you uh you enjoyed that short uh, video just showing what i have in my bag other stuff i'll put in there for example are instant noodles in case uh, there's nothing interesting in the aircraft you can get you can get sort of like hot water the cabin crew will bring you some hot water so i'll just break up the noodles inside the packet while it's still closed, break them into little bits, and then I'll pour them into the, the glass of hot water and then just leave it sit there for a few minutes and then I can just drink the drink of water and eat, and, uh, and eat the noodles. And it's it's all right. And then, of course, I'll sometimes add some of this stuff to, to make it taste a, a bit better, you know, a bit more, uh, more savoury. Yeah, but that's it. I'm Tarek Maryface. I'll see you guys next time and happy flying.